Hey Facebook friends, it's Sherry here with this video about how to prevent the Facebook white screen of death. And I'm probably going to tag a bunch of you who I know love Facebook, including um, myself, or like I do myself. Um, and the Facebook white screen of death, what that is, is you're going to, you'll probably find one day you log into Facebook and instead of seeing, you know, your Facebook wall and all the stuff that you're used to, you're going to be, you know, at Facebook.com, but what you're going to see in your browser is just a big blank, empty, white page. And this is happening to, to thousands of users every day on the internet. It's, you know, people are talking about it. It's all over the place. And once it happens to you, it's really hard to fix it. You have to just sort of wait, and over time, um, it will literally resolve itself. Um, Facebook must have something that runs in the background that will fix it for you, but you'll be without Facebook for, you know, sometimes days, sometimes weeks, um, even up to a month. And what's really weird is that, you know, on the same computer, you'll be able to log into, like, maybe your husband's account, and it'll work fine. It has nothing to do with your computer. It has everything to do with Facebook. So, I'm going to show you what I learned about how to prevent this. And you should do this um, little maintenance trick, um, you know, maybe once a month or so if you really enjoy using Facebook. So here's what you do. On your Facebook page, you go up to this little drop down blue arrow at the top right and you want to go to your settings. And right here on your general account settings page, at the very bottom, you'll see this, download a copy of your Facebook data. And you can click download a copy and then click this download archive button. And you'll probably have to enter your password and click submit. And actually, um, I already did this a little earlier and so you won't get this little pop-up like I did. Uh, let me show you what will happen when you click the submit button. In your inbox you'll get an email from Facebook that says Facebook download requested and it just tells you that you know um, you've got a download uh, started. Okay, uh, Nothing to do there but when it's ready, when your download is ready you'll get the second email that just says your Facebook download is ready and there will be there will be a link in here that you can click but basically it'll take you back to this page where you can click download archive and again enter your password and submit and you can actually save this this file for the future um, it, it downloads basically all of your personal Facebook information um, in, in case you ever needed to restore it um, so just save this file, you know, somewhere on your hard drive, maybe in a folder called Facebook Download or something. So if you ever need it in the future, you have it. Um, but really, that's all you have to do. The process of Facebook creating this this archive, it kind of cleans everything up, makes it nice and pretty for their database, and um, it will prevent you from falling into that Facebook white screen of death trap and you'll enjoy uninterrupted use of your Facebook account. Um, if you think this video is helpful, I'd love for you to comment on the video and um, please share this all over Facebook. It, it really is happening to a ton of people right now and um, you can prevent it yourself. It's so simple and um, share it with your friends and tell them to do the same thing. All right. Uh, bye for now. This is Sherry Kirkland.